Welcome in Aries. I'm Maria at Indigo Earth and I'm here to do a general reading for you, our fire signs Aries. I'm good to have you here. Welcome in cross watchers. Please feel free to swap around the characters as need be throughout the reading. Anytime that you come across this message and you were drawn into it was a time that you were meant to listen to it. Messages coming through for you, Aries, should reflect some aspect of your current situation as well as an inner knowing. So take what resonates and if it doesn't, leave it behind. For those of you that this does resonate with, I will have an extended at the end of this video. I will dive deeper into your message and I will explore the zodiac signs coming through. Zodiac signs coming through can be about an intimate connection as well as and background players, friends, family, relatives, extended family, blended family siblings, parents, best friends, co-workers, colleagues. So just keep that in mind as we go through the reading. And for those of you that this does resonate with, if you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe to the channel to help the channel grow so that other areas can get the messages that might be needed for them. Know that it is honored and it is appreciated and good to have you here. So let's get started to your reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is messages for those watching, please. This is message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Messages for those watching, please. Messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Messages for those watching, please. Okay, here we go. So, overall energetic theme for the reading, you have the King of Wands. Influential, um, powerful leader, influence. That's you showing up, Aries. <laughs> well, actually, it's the Emperor, but King of Wands is like an Aries, pretty close to Aries anyway. But that's um, really taking charge of a situation, something that has to do with creativity, ingenuity, integrity, something fun, something exciting, something original. So let's see where we go. Your overall energy right now, Eight of Pentacles, you are working hard, my friend. This is honing in on your craft, really working hard on creating something for yourself. This could be your job. This could be just life skills. This could be a trade. This could be a sidekick, side job. This could be moonlighting, but you're definitely putting time and effort into something. Let's see what your situation is. We have the four of cups. You're focused. You are very, very focused. Let's see what your opportunity is. Ten of Pentacles. So this is um, building your finances, your resources. This is like success. This is also has to do with family, about providing for, taking care of your family, relationship. Um, this is just the whole ball and wax all coming together. So let's see what the universe is co-creating with you. We got the seven of swords. We're going to have to get some clarity on that one. But this could just be taking what you've learned and moving forward with it. This could also be, you know, maybe you're evading an issue. Maybe you're overworking right now to evade something else or in denial of something else. Maybe you're trying to overcompensate here. So let's see how you got here. We have the King of Cups. Could have been having to do with something in love. A relationship or a connection or um, giving your heart, giving yourself. Just an overall feeling of like compassion and empathy. So what's right around the corner for you? Ace of Wands. Initiation. Taking charge of a situation. Moving forward. New beginning. Something unconventional is coming in for you. Something very original, artistic, creative. So let's see what's fading away. 
the six of wands. Feeling like you had to overcome something or you wanted to win or you wanted to be the best at it or you wanted to be recognized or you wanted to be seen. So either that's already happening in what you're doing right now or it's just something that you just don't really care about anymore. You just want to... You just want to do something that gives you fulfillment, gives you gratitude, something that's original, something that's authentic to you. So let's see what your outside influences are. We got the devil showing up, that's Capricorn energy. So whenever that shows up in a reading, <laughs> you're always looking at what or whom, what are the blockages or whom are the blockages? Is ego getting in the way? Is fear getting in the way? Is pride getting in the way? Are you resisting something? So let's see what your next steps are. The hermit. Getting quiet, going within, becoming still. Listening. Getting rid of the mind clutter. Shutting it down so you can hear from the core essence of your being. So let's see what the future possibilities will be for you. We have the five of wands. So this could just be maybe working with other people. Um, this could be too many influences. Maybe it's time to just shut down and listen to yourself. There could be too many distractions because of all the time and effort that you're putting into what you're trying to create here or what you're trying to build. Just might be too much going on in general. So it looks like you're trying to focus, but it looks like you might be trying to focus on something to evade something else. Because there's a lot of pentacles here. And there's only one cup, the king. So you may be trying to uh, avoid some feelings, some emotions. You may be directing your emotions or your feelings into your work right now. <clears throat> so you may be avoiding some emotions here and putting them like straight forward into your work. Too much going on. So let's find out what this is all about for you, Aries. Let's keep going with this. So let's clarify what the Four of Cups is. What are you super uber focused on? You're ignoring something else. And feel free to swap around the characters as need be throughout the reading. This could be you. This could be somebody you're dealing with. So clarify the Four of Cups here. We got Strength. We got the Hierophant. That's Leo energy coming in, and that's also Earth energy coming in, uh, specific to Taurus. And we got the Emperor. There you are. <laughs> we got three major arcanas that just came in here in this situation. So this is something to pay attention to. But... There's something that you're putting all your attention on right now. Strength. Something that's just being very, like, you're going to get what you want. Could be focused on a, a Taurus, or you could be focused on another Aries. But it seems like all your energy is going into this situation or this person you're determined there's determination here there's definitely determination here strength and the emperor like those two together there's just you no one can tell you what to do here <laughs> no one's going to tell you what to do here um for others of you, this could just be, you are very, like, right? 
I'm not going to listen to anybody else. You're, 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 there's just one way to go, and that's the only way. Um, when you got the, the Hierophant coming in here, that's very, like, methodical. Things are structured. This is how it's going to go. This is the way it's going to be. Things are very much put in order, in line. It's kind of like, it's very systematic. Very, like, one thing follows the other, follows the other, follows the other. It's kind of your, kind of the dogmas that we put in place. The structures, the systems. But something here you are uber, uber focused on. Or someone. So let's see what the Ten of Pentacles is, because this is your opportunity. We've got the Sun, so Leo coming in. We got the Queen of Swords, and we got the Ten of Wands. Well, I think that there, whatever this is that has to do with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, this could be your career. For some of you, this could be your career and your job. It makes you happy. It gives you joy. Um, but it's also a lot of work. The truth about it is it's a lot of work and it's it's kind of like you're picking up the you're doing work for 10 people you're trying to move things forward you're trying to push things forward because you got the ten of wands and the ten of pentacles here so you're trying to make something happen here With the Queen of Swords in the middle, because the Queen of Swords is very determined, it's like things are her way or it's no way. Like she's very experiential in her knowledge. She's very experiential in her, um, her experiences. Um, she's clear, she's direct, she knows what she wants. You're very clear here and you're, you're very, you're gonna push it forward. But there might be something on the surface of this that's not quite as it seems. Because the Ten of Pentacles can be what it looks like on the surface. But it looks like you're, you're trying to move the whole ball and wax forward. And there's a, there, you're, you're focused. There's a determined, you're clear. You got the sun and the queen of swords. You are clear. You know where you're going. You know what you're going to do. You know it's going to take perseverance. You know it's going to take a lot of effort. You know it's going to take um, a lot of ingenuity. But you're, you're, you're going to move it forward. Like even if it breaks your back, you're going to move it forward. You are very focused here. So let's see what the Seven of Swords is because something, there's some kind of evading or a denial or something's being misleading here. So clarify what the Seven of Swords is for Aries, please. Could be avoiding something. We got the Queen of Cups, we got the Magician, one more please for this, and we got the Knight of Wands but it came out in reverse. Well, for some of you, I think you're trying to change a situation because the Queen of Cups is very in tune with her environment. And you've got the Ten of Pentacles here, so that's about home. That's about 
your home life, things, your everyday, the people that surround you, you know, could be children, could be family, could be relatives. Um, things in your environment very much directly affect you. And I, I think you're trying to like change a situation. You're trying to move a situation forward or you want to move a situation forward. Something that um, normally would inspire you or give you hope or give you prospects. But it doesn't seem to be moving forward. It's more like you are trying to hide or could be hiding from something else. You might be, for others of you, this is about um, maybe manipulating your emotions. That you're trying to get inspired. You're trying to... Um, move something forward that really gives you life, but it's not bringing in the results that you want. Could For some of you, you could be evading your feelings about a situation or a person. You're trying to change it, or you're trying to, huh, I don't want to keep using the words manipulate. Um, you're trying to make something make something happen that's just not supposed to happen or you may be evading your emotions and trying to pretend like there's something they're not here but something is definitely being there's some kind of denial here about something could be a relationship could be what you're focused on maybe could be being maybe about trying to push something forward that's not ready to move forward yet. Yeah, oh, the Ten of Swords is down here too. I didn't see that popped out. Um, whatever this is, it's trying to move, that you're trying to bring into fruition. It seems like it's not supposed to come into fruition. It's, it's... It's a dead issue. It, like it's a it it's not supposed to move forward for a reason, even though you're trying to move it forward. And you 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 got a lot of heart in this, Queen of Cups and the Magician. You got a lot of heart in this, and I think that you feel like you know, you have the potential and the power and the resources to turn, push this forward the way that you want it to. But it might be because. It's how you're thinking it should be pu pushed forward. Something or someone is not ready yet. They're not in the same trajectory as you. They're not... I mean, Aries is a go-getter, right? You're, you're the trailblazers. You're the frontline leaders. You, like, make things happen. And right now, you're in the process of trying to make things happen. But it's kind of by how you perceive it to happen. Queen of Swords and the Sun. And it seems like it's not flowing. Ten of Wands. It doesn't seem like, like it's flowing. It seems like it's having to be forced. And it's, it's kind of reverting the opposite effect. Instead of it flowing, it's just like crushing it. That makes sense. So something here isn't is isn't not isn't is not in its authenticity. It's not moving in the direction it's supposed to be moving in because it's not supposed to move in that direction. It's like direct halt. So let's see what the King of Cups is here for you. That's how you got here. We got the Knight of Swords. We got the Five of Swords. And we got the Four of Wands. Again, I think that um, you have a lot of emotions behind this. I think that, again, Knight of Swords, you're trying to drive something forward. 
trying to push something forward that's causing you a lot of resistance. Five of Swords. There's resistance here. There's um, This kind of seems to be an old, a no-win situation. It just seems to be like it's a battle. Like there's just obstacles after obstacles after obstacles. You keep meeting resistance after resistance after resistance. Kind of like you're like it could be you could be the other person is just trying to push a, a situation or a relationship forward wanting some sort of stability here some sort of commitment and it doesn't seem to resolve it doesn't seem to it just seems like it's like you're in a battle zone like you're you're, you're pushing a 10 pound boulder up a hill and it keeps sliding back down. You keep going down and trying to get it back up again. That could be why the devil's here in outside influences because there's resistance here. Because what's fading away is you're wanting to overcome the situation. You're wanting to control or move the situation forward you're wanting to win win over be on top so let's find out what the ace of wands is for you got the seven of swords again wands too could be this fading away wanting to influence something or be an influencer maybe it's just not supposed to be influenced whatever you're focused on here we got the seven of swords we got the emperor in reverse we got the wheel of fortune in reverse something is not moving forward there's some kind of denial here And when the now see you came up the emperor in the situation you came up um, upright ready to take charge ready to move it forward but now it's in reverse right around the corner something is not moving forward something is not um, taking its place and the wheel of fortune in reverse something is not moving in the direction it's supposed to move something is not in divine order here and are not in might not be on your path and you have such heart here but it's like the energy may be needed to be directed your your energy of like really wanting to create or push something forward or move something forward may need to be directed in a in another area because it's coming out to be more like manipulative than it is influential and i think it's causing a lot of disturbance five of wands conflict disharmony disconnection so let's see why the devil's here then clarify the devil this is capricorn energy coming through so far you've got leo you've got you aries you've got gemini you've got aries again you've got sagittarius coming through you've got leo again capricorn's here virgo's here so we got the Three of Pentacles.
We got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and we got the Queen of Swords. Um, there may be other people involved in this. Three of Pentacles could be a mentor, could be just other people, friends, family, um, influences, colleagues that are not helping move anything forward. I, it's like uh, they're trying to, somebody's trying to tell you the truth here, Queen of Swords, or people are trying to like, maybe give you insight or knowledge or something. I don't know, people may see the situation differently than you. There may be people, for some of you, there may be people surrounding you that are not helping this, but they might be trying to tell you the truth or might be trying to get you to see something clearly that you're not seeing, the blockages. About the fact that something isn't working. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Something isn't working. For others of you, this could be outside influences. Other people that are trying to help the situation that aren't helping. Frenemies. <laughs> could be frenemies involved here. And for some of you, it's just genuine people trying to... Get you to see something clearly where your blockages are. The devil. Blockages. Things that you're not seeing clearly. So let's see what the hermit is. This is um, your next steps. This is shutting it down. Getting quiet. Marinating. Shutting it all off. Got the three of cups coming through. Yeah, shutting out the outside for a while. Three of Cups, outside influences. Maybe relying on some friends or just a couple friends that are very close to you that you can trust. We got the Ace of Cups in reverse. And we got the Devil in reverse now. I think the next steps are shutting it out, shutting it all down. All this, it, it seems to be madness. There's a lot of fire energy coming through here. Things that are like trying to push things forward and then it's being met with resistance. There's a lot of red with a lot of blue showing up in this reading, right? Blue is like fires meeting water. Water um, drowns fire, puts out fire. And so emotions are trying to be, emotions are trying to rise here. Emotions are trying to come up. And so I think shutting down all these, this outside influence of whatever's trying to be pushed or moved or um, could be, you know, for some of you, this just could, you could be overworking yourself. Maybe you have a day job and a night job, or maybe you have a day job and what you really want to do, you're doing at night. For others of you, this could be about a relationship. You're super focused on one person and really trying to influence the relationship that's, you know, trying to move it forward and it's not meant to go with you. And, and for others of you that may be working a day job and then moonlighting or doing, you know, something at night... Um, it's wearing you down. And it may be time to like let it rest for a minute. But because the Ace of Cups is here, this is, and the Devil, um, this is some kind of, something's not moving forward in love. There, there's some sort of, unhealthy attachment here.
So it's time to just stop. Stop. Just stop, reflect, breathe, gather your bearings, maybe gather a friend or two, and just be with yourself for a while. Because your emotions are trying to rise up here. And whatever is being evaded or whatever is being denied or whatever, because you've got the Seven of Swords here twice. So something is being denied. Something is not supposed to move forward with you. So let's see, let's get one more on the Five of Wands here. Clarify one more on the Five of Wands. What is this? What is the conflict? What is the... We got the chariot. Some of you might be literally moving. Or moving, trying to move things too fast. They might need to just really slow down. But you have opposing, the chariot also is about opposing forces. And you've got a lot of fire energy in here and a lot of water energy. So there's definitely opposing forces here that are, that, you know, are like at war with each other right now. Emotions are trying to rise. Things are trying to be moved forward. There's an evasion of some sort of feelings here that want to come up so that they can be acknowledged and you got the devil in here twice so there's there's some kind of toxicity here you know best how to put this together for yourself or what I'm actually talking about here whether it's you know in a career or you're trying to you know get something launched or whether it's in a relationship that you're trying to push it forward to commitment four of wands There's opposing forces here. Give me one more, please, for this. But the good news is, it, it looks like you do have some very healthy people around you that are, are trying to work together with you to support you, give you clear direction, um, be there for you. Give me one more on the chariot, please. And I, I think that, that by you kind of just shutting it all off for a while so you can rest, you're going to get a clearer understanding of what it is you, that's maybe not meant to move forward here. Get the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this Knight of Swords in reverse, it, the Knight of Swords upright is about pushing something forward, moving something forward. This is in reverse. There's opposing energies here that are causing a lot of um, disarray. Maybe could be internally, could be, you know, could be structurally. But it seems like this isn't supposed to go with you, whatever this is. Because you got the King of Wands here. Every, you, I mean, you've got ingenuity originality you got firepower in you but something's out of balance here there's too much fire and not enough water not enough feeling something through or seeing something clearly because you got the seven of swords You're not seeing something very very clearly you got king of wands the sun leo emperor Strength, a lot of Leo, a lot of um, Aries coming through. Got the Emperor over here, but in reverse. And you got the Devil twice. So something here, something, some kind of attachment here is toxic. It's not working. It's not supposed to work. Ten of Swords. It's not supposed to work. Knight of Wands. It's not going with you. And if it's not going with you, that means that there's something else for you that maybe you're not 
quite understanding is there. It almost seems like just surrender. Because the Six of Wands is what's fading away. There's nothing to win here. It's a no-win situation. Five of Swords. It, it's just, it's a no-win situation. There's no winner. There's no, there's not going to be anything to like stand up with the trophy at the end. But you have a lot of passion here. You have a lot of passion here. I think it just needs to be redirected in another way or in another area for you. Because it seems like you're burning the candle at both ends here. So in the extended, we've got you showing up. We've got Taurus showing up. Leo showing up. Capricorn showing up. Virgo showing up. Capricorn showing up again. Sagittarius showing up. Gemini showing up. I think that's it. So I'll look at those signs in the extended, those zodiac signs in the extended. Remember, those can also be background players as well. And for those of you not going on, Let's get um, something for you that you can use. This is um, the Crystal Healing Oracle Deck by Judy Hall. Let's get a crystal for you, something you can use, something tangible you can work with, play with. Touch, feel, feel the energies. So this is for Aries, please. Priscilla Bluestone? <clears throat> Priscilla, Priscilla, Priscilla Bluestone. That's a new one. Pretty. The Inner Compass. <clears throat> Priscilla Bluestone planted, Priscilla Bluestone's planted healing energies from the land of the ancestors into a sacred healing landscape. This stone assesses past, present, and future. <clears throat> Your self-understanding. You are an ancient shaman who has much wisdom to impart and the ability to journey through multiple dimensions in search of healing. You have unshakable core stability and an inner compass that directs you with integrity. Use natural medicine for ailments. Pay attention to your boundaries. Dig deep into the past, assess your memories, and cut yourself free. Examine your deepest intentions and roots. Live in the present moment. Find your own direction and face your challenges. You have the power to decide. Pay particular attention to your environment. Being true to yourself is, is the basis of all well-being, both spiritual and physical. And your sole path is to develop a spiritual compass. Priscilla Bluestone. I'm going to get one more on this, what this one is. This is integration. These crystals bring the wisdom of the divine down to earth, but also manifest wisdom in whichever dimension is appropriate. They help you raise awareness, higher access dimensional consciousness, and ground that into the earth. These are integration crystals. So that's what I have for you this week, Aries, pointers and guidelines. I hope this helps. For those of you going on, the link for the um, extended is in the description box below. And until next time, may the peace that passes all understanding embrace the essence of your being. Bye-bye.